Hey, Big Dave, the Middle Age Gamer here, and we're doing something completely different here. As you can see, we have a Wheel of Fortune like randomized thing, spinny thing. And what we're going to do is we are setting up to do a hardcore run on Season 1 of Diablo 4. So, what's this? These are the classes and the different styles. That I do, if you remember my uh, character class guides. I've touched on all of them. Except maybe this one here, Trapper, which is a rogue build. Something I've developed recently. Uh, centered around the traps and uh, about the three trap skills. Uh, which are Caltrops, Poison Trap, and the Ultimate Shadow Trap. Plus the... Uh, what's it called? Come on, Dave. Brain. Uh... <laughs> Plus the uh, passive, um, I forget exactly what it's called, but it has to do with your traps and uh, based off your lucky hit percentage and does some pretty sick things. Yeah, because that's how you explain it. Anyway, so we're going to give this damn thing a spin and we're going to see just what we're going to at least start my next character with. The first time you're seeing me do a hardcore run. That's a lot of yellow. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Because with the last patch, Blizzard nerfed the crap out of the Sorcerer class. So, it is what it is. So, moving on. So here we are on the character creation uh, bit. So click on the sorcerer. And we're just gonna go with uh, this appearance here. I'm not going to mess with this because I don't want to get attached because it's a hardcore character. And we're gonna click on the hardcore button. We're gonna skip the campaign. Now we need to come up with a name for this cat. And... Looks like I've seen that face somewhere, but I'll be damned if I remember where. Oh my god, I know where I've seen this face. Okay, it won't let us do spaces, I forgot about that. It's freaking Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols. We're gonna do seasonal. World Tier 2, because I'm a glutton for goddamn punishment. Yeah, 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 we know. Basically, that just says, you know, if your character dies, you ain't coming back. No crying, don't come crying to us. I am writing to you. Because although a great evil is receding from Sanctuary, a new festering curse now spreads its corruption across the land. More dangerous, more malignant than I could have imagined. I have found a way to stop this plague. To rip the dark power of these monsters from their very core and turn it to our advantage in destroying them. alone. My allies have fallen. My strength is dwindling. The malignant are relentless and without mercy. I need help. I need you. Cool. All right. So this is my first run on the hardcore on the seasonal event. So we get absolutely nothing to play with. And if you look at our stats, they're kind of shit. Because I didn't really do much with uh, the hardcore side of things either. It wasn't her. The corruption took her. I saw it.
Okay, so... We need to speak with Demian first. Why do we need to speak with Demian? Do we already get an implant? As I'm sure you know, even seemingly mundane... Yeah, we've all seen that. Uh... Okay. I need to see something here real quick. Oh! Okay. I did play a little bit on the Eternal side yesterday. Or, the day before I recorded this. And uh, apparently that goes across your account, whether hardcore or otherwise. So, that's fascinating. Alright. So, I guess we talk to Virtran first. What happened? What did you see? Please, help! I saw a person turn into a demon! Her skin burst! The corruption spilled out! What? Outside the city, on the road to Minestad. They're everywhere! Oh, that's interesting. Well, if we gotta go to Minestad, then we're gonna talk to, uh... Come on. Kodamila. Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return from delivering our tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. All right. Well, first things first. There's one more quest I want to grab real quick, a side quest that's going to be so easy to do. We don't have to leave the comforts of Gilvashad. Let's hear this one here. The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise. But I can't let them see me as soft. Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits, and I get to go on being the hard-ass. Everybody wins. I will handle it. Yes, because it's important for her to be the hard-ass. Okay. So, these kind of quests, they're just emote quests. So, in this case, you just want to cheer them on. Impressive. That's it. Seriously, that's it. Thanks. I hope they don't get used to it. Well, that didn't give us quite the level, but, eh, close enough. And we get some... We get some herb out of it. Okay. Wait, what? Benevolent Wanderer, Season Journey, Benevolent, wa Benevolent Wanderer is close to completion. Okay, so... We need to go... Let's follow the map. Wait a minute. That building wasn't there before. Hey, we got... Nice. That's new. That has never been there before, I promise. So we got two places to check out. Okay, I really have no idea where I'm going. And my sole ability right now is to smack people with my wand. Well, that's reassuring. do this one because that's the one we're looking for. Okay. We're supposed to look for survivors on the road, not dead people on the road. No lootsies. Yeah. Okay, we got a level. Oh. 
Recipe! Let's learn it. Anyway, we have a level to spend. So we can go, there are two shock spells we can go with. We can go with Spark, which launches a bolt of lightning that shocks an enemy four times, dealing three damage a hit. Or Arc Lash, unleash arcing lightning that deals 12 damage to enemies in front of you. Every 10 times, Arc Lash swipes and stuns all enemies hit for two seconds. Well, that's fascinating. We're gonna go with Arc Lash. We're gonna see how this works. Okay. It's a lightning whip. It's a freaking lightning whip. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the other one. Spark. I think this is a little more... Yep. one, see if it's any better. It's the exact same damn thing, so screw that. And you see that malignant growth stuff? Better shoes? Better shoes. So as you can see, skipping the campaign, you can get to other things. If you don't skip the campaign, you gotta do the campaign. Funny how that works. Alright, we got another point to spend, so let's see what we can do. Oop. Apparently I ain't doing shit yet. Okay. We can improve our damage hit from 3 to 3, or we can go with Enhanced Spark. Each time Spark hits a primary target, it has a 40% chance to summon another frickin' Khazra. Uh, to hit up to 3 additional enemies, dealing 2 damage. If there are no other enemies to hit Spark instead, Deals 20% increased damage to its primary target. That's fine. That's more damage. I like that. So we're getting all sorts of weird stuff from this malignant stuff. If that makes any sense to y'all. Hey, XP early on is a good thing. We're just looking for survivors. skill. We've got charge bolts, which is going to send some bolts. Uh, it says, release five bolts of lightning that course along the ground in an erratic pattern. That is a classic Diablo skill from the very beginning. And chain lightning, unleash a stream of lightning that deals 11 damage and chains between nearby enemies up to five times. Prioritizing enemies. Hmm. It's cheaper, it's a little erratic, but no friendly, f uh, no friendly fire, so go with the charge bolt. Okay. Is that where we need to be? Let's go there. Short area, strange demon. 
speak with you but I I need a moment would you meet me by the road uh, yeah sure um, just make sure there's nothing else around here there's a lot of a lot of foot stuff there and yes if you remember that's what you were called in the main campaign the wanderer yeah the wanderer you roam around, 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 around. Let's talk to Cormont. What was that monster back there? Well, it was human. I'm sorry to say. Tainted by Lilith's corruption. Consumed by it. Malignant, I call them. As you saw, their corruption can't simply be killed. I've been doing my best to stop it, but clearly not enough. That's why I've come here. To ask for your help. I've never seen Malignant. What is this corruption? Scripture says we are each half angel and half demon. Lilith awakened the latter in people, driving them mad with hatred. For those who've turned Malignant, their demonic half is eating them alive. Kinky. You've been facing this alone? A heavy bird? <sighs> you have no idea. Although, perhaps you do. Facing demons? War in Chaldeum? Hell itself? If even half the rumors about you are true, wow, it's quite a lot. Is that a mobile home he's living out of? Seriously! It looks like a freaking trailer. I mean, there's the horse that would be pulling it. Who are you? Apologies. My name is Cormand. I was a priest. Before Lilith came to my village. After that, I suppose I tried saving souls a different way. How can we stop what can't be killed? I'm hoping you and I can cure them. I have some equipment we'll need in that crate there. All right. So, looking at the marker, what? Ah, here it is. Bag of cages. What are these cages? Cages of binding. Extraordinary devices, really. Meant to remove corruption from a living soul. When you bested that malignant, you exposed the heart of its corruption. My cages can capture it, stop it from spreading to others. But this is a treatment, not a cure. Not just yet. I must ride to the Orbe Monastery and continue my research. Meet me there, and we'll set things right. Now, if you remember from my uh, campaign run, that uh, what the Orbe Monastery really is. Apologies for the stutter. Okay. It's equipment, and it's going to stay stuck in my inventory. Wonderful. And as you can see, the Orbe Monastery, all the way over here. On the bright side, when you skip the campaign, as you can see, all the capitals have been unlocked, so you can bounce to them, as is the Tree of Whispers. And if you remember at the very end of my campaign run, I did touch briefly on the after... Uh, on the post-campaign goodies that you can do with the Tree of Whispers. Now you can hit up these different fa uh, these different little whispers, and they give you Grim Favors. Get ten Grim Favors, you go back to the tree, and it gives you some goodies. And you get to choose between three different kinds of chests, usually centered around one equipment type. And you open it up, and it spills out a whole bunch of junk, usually centered around that uh, equipment type, but it can branch out into different things too, supplies, different equipment types, and the like. 
And there's also another one called Chaos, you know, the Chest of Chaos, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just random stuff. All right, so that's that. And if I called it now, this would be a ridiculously short video now, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do, we're going to play along. And what we're gonna and we are going to do a side quest. We are going to hit up the Menestad coffers. Quest. Boing. Because in my campaign only run it really was kit. I mean, okay, that's not entirely true. I did do some pro I did do the primary quest. But just the primary quests. Side quests were like Yeah, might as well. Look at the leggings we got. Oh yeah, much better. So we go here, and yep, there he is. Are you Boz on the monk? Indeed I am. My guard turned on me, tried to choke the life out of me. All I could do before I lost consciousness was go over the cliff. I need to return to Kuyovashad and request a night escort. Please. Take the tithing demands to the merchant lord, Talgun, in Menestad. Fine. Even though right now, this takes place after... If you skip the campaign, the campaign is literally skipped, and this takes place after the campaign is over, in case you haven't noticed. Ball boats, ball boats. So, we're gonna mark to Menestad. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to mark the waypoint. I'm going to show you guys something here. Even though I'm sure you noticed that all of the Pillar of the altars of Lilith that you discovered don't give you the same bonuses they did before. They don't give you any bonuses. Um, if you've already discovered them in the previous uh, and before the season. So, but however, renown is not the same. We can still get our renown. So we can still get skill points. And I'll need to go to the dry steps and find an altar of Lilith and see if I can trigger it. Anyway, let's give this to him. I am so very grateful. I will need to make the necessary arrangements. Please, excuse me. How did this happen? I shouldn't be holding this in my hands. It should be. Restraint, my lord. Restraint. Ah, yes. Of course. Carry on, Isti. Well, now we know who set all that up. Fascinating. Alright, so. There's a new side quest here. We're gonna talk to Miros. Uh, an arrangement I made went awry, and I was extorted by the ruffian Laskus for protection. He's camped somewhere near the pass to the northwest. Return the gemstones he stole, and I'll make it worth your while. All right. So, I mean, we don't have much else to do right now, so, yeah, might as well do it. 
not far off. Look at that. We got some gloves finally. That'll help. And that's about all here. So let's talk to Leskus. I've come for the gemstones belonging to Miros. Miros sent you. That spineless merchant. Ha! This will cost him dearly. Just like that. This one is over. Let's grab the gemstones, get our level, we'll decide where what we want to do here. We need to build up to get to here and look at teleport. But for now, let's see what we have available. First we're gonna look at getting the optionals of our spark. We have Clinton Spark, Spark. Grants 2% increased critical strike chance per cast for 5 seconds, up to 8%. Eh. Or flickering spark. Hey. Each time a spark hits an enemy, it has a 4% chance to form a crackling energy. Yeah, sure, why not? For not everything I've been able to read, crackling energies can be a lot of fun. Alright, let's head back to Menestad. To Miros. With your payment. So, the deed is done. Excellent. I knew you would prove worthy of my trust. I'm sure you've heard the new word as it spreads. We will no longer suffer at the hands of the lesser. Our strength, our might, our destiny is to triumph over the weak. He's a little supporter, because of course he was. Alright, let's see what he gave us. More herb. Okay. So, we're gonna look around a little bit, and... Kid Bardu, okay. Is the same level as is the Dry Steps, so that's interesting. So... What are we going to do? Should we head toward Yelesna and do some Tree of Whispers goodies? Oh, 
I think we should. So. We're going to ride back to Gilvashad. And we're going to make our way back towards... Actually, I just look at the time. If we're going to try and keep these videos short, I should probably wait a minute. That new shop is open now. Let's go take a look-see. Cormon's workbench. Alright. We can craft malignant items, or salvage malignant items. Okay. But, uh, right. Okay. So, we're going to call it here for now. This was a bit of a short episode, but I'm trying to keep it short. Just do a couple of things here uh, at a time. I hope you enjoy this series. Hope you enjoy where this could potentially lead. Let me know in the comments what you think. And, yeah. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest as they come in and help this channel grow. This is Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Diablo 4, Season 1, the season of the Malignant. And I'll see you all next time.